As the latest inflation figures show signs of cooling, it is another piece of economic data making a positive print on Bidenomics. But given the prices are not expected to reach pre-pandemic levels, will it be enough to convince voters on a second Biden term? Our own Rick Newman's here and says 2024 will be the inflation election. Tell us why. Hey, guys. Uh, obviously, inflation has been the biggest economic problem of Biden's presidency so far. And this is going to uh, be very determinant in terms of who the next president is. Uh, so I, 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 you know, the election forecasts are starting to come in. There's a very interesting one recently from Oxford Economics, uh, and they run their model, uh, which they've been doing since the 1970s. It's been pretty accurate since then. And they say that uh, the level of inflation in the fall, the third quarter of 2024, uh, is going to be crucial. Uh, they think it'll be down to about 2.4 percent by then. But if it's a point higher or a point and a half higher, that could be determinant. Biden has a pretty good chance of winning if inflation is at their target of around 2.4%. But their model says if it ticks back up to around 4%, Biden loses. Uh, and then they also highlight how important it is how voters are thinking about inflation. And there are different ways uh, voters do think about inflation. We've seen this in confidence numbers. If voters are just focused on prices have gone up and stayed there, that is bad for Biden. And Trump could flip uh, a couple of those really important swing states, and that might, might be enough to make a difference. On the other hand, um, if people start to relax about prices and they are just paying attention to the inflation rate itself, which is kind of how economists are thinking about it these days, that's good for Biden because the, the rate itself will probably be in the twos, which ordinarily would be kind of a nothing burger. So there's a lot going on in this election. It's a more complex election than we have certainly had in modern times. But if you're going to watch one economic indicator, for sure, it is inflation. Let me ask you, though, Rick, do you think it really is going to be the inflation election? Because I've seen at least some polling, Rick, showing that maybe now actually it's immigration that is edging out inflation as the top policy concern now. Yeah, Im immigration certainly uh, has become a bigger issue for all voters than it has before. I mean, the immigration is an issue that for the last, let's say, 10 or 15 years, and, and we're talking about illegal immigration here, really, not, not legal immigration, all the migrants coming across the southwest border. Um, this is something that Republicans have cared a lot about, but independents who are the really important swing voters in about six or seven swing states, they haven't um, worried about it so much, but clearly it is on more people's minds. And the reason this is a, a big deal this year is that this is Biden's weakest issue. So in just about all the polls, when you say, how do you rate Biden on health care, on abortion, on the economy, on immigration, uh, he normally comes in worst on immigration. And this is starting to hurt him among swing voters. So, you know, there's this deal underway in Congress. Uh, we don't know if it's going to happen or not. Um, to do something about the southwest border uh, and pair that with more aid for Ukraine and Israel. Uh, so Republicans want to be tough on the border, but now it looks like Republicans are going to back away from that deal and we're going to get no action on the border unless Biden changes his own uh, policy by executive order. So this ought to be on Biden's mind, but um, it's kind of perplexing because he has not really indicated he's aware this is a problem for him. So, Josh, you are right. Definitely something to watch. Uh, for the next 10 months. I still think it's going to come down to inflation, but uh, we'll have this conversation 10 months from now and see if I'm right. Rick, always love having you on the show. Have a great weekend, my buddy. You guys.